hello on behalf of my authors, Dr. Uh, Dr. Parisi and others. Very happy to present this, page, this paper for neurosurgery on the go for the Red Journal, Temporal Parietal Extraventricular Approach for Deep Brain Stimulation, Targeting Anterior Nucleus of the Thalamus Institutional Experience. Traditional trajectories for anti-DBS include transventricular, uh, as well as frontal transcortical, um, and this has been addressed and looked at in the Moore trial, previous Red Journal article published in 2009, that demonstrated that transventricular routes appeared to hit the target more frequently. It also showed that when you were transventricular, you had about a 90% chance of getting your electrodes within the nucleus, as opposed to going extraventricular, which demonstrated a 70% chance hit rate in this study. You know, the issue, of course, is that when you go to an indirect target transventricular, you're going through your pathway. And in this circumstance, you're targeting inferior and oftentimes you miss. Therefore, obviously with indirect targeting, we're able to adjust this and open the window for other opportunities for treatment. Methodology of this paper included retrospective analysis of patients with drug-resistant epilepsy who underwent anterior um, uh, ANT-DBS using the temporal parietal extraventricular approach between uh, January 2011 in February 2021, subjects with at least six months of follow-up are utilized. Final lead position and number of active contacts in the AV nucleus and ANT were utilized. And mean uh, seizure reduction. This is what this looks like. We uh, use a Lexel head frame. These the traditional points are those that are used for a shunt. It's more familiar because it's a more of a shunt trajectory posterior approach. It avoids additional incisions and scars in some circumstances and provides more options for implantation. 31 patients over the course uh, of this study uh, were, were detailed in here with mean follow-up of 27.6 months. Mean seizure reduction was around 65%. 83% uh, percent of patients were responders uh, with 6% of patients seizure-free at last follow-up. Anti-epileptic drugs uh, or, uh, were decreased in 55% of these patients. Success rate for placing at least one contact in the ANT was 87%. And overall, the number of patients with, uh, with active contacts in AV in the responder group was higher with three versus 1.8 in the non-responder groups. So in conclusion, this provides a unique route to targeting the targeted stimulation with low complication rates and good uh, results for NT stimulation may avoid additional incisions. And 90% uh, of the patients surveyed in the study would do it again. Thank you very much. Please link the hyperlink below.